What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to vlog stuff. Today, we're going to be taking this futon. I'm going to get it out of here because we've got a brand new setup for Farm Sim News. What I've got is I've got some extra screens laying around. I've got an extra PC sitting around. We've got some microphone stuff like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to transform this whole area into the Farm Sim News corner. So first things first, uh, we're actually using a different microphone system to get the wireless stuff. This is something I actually use for DJ stuff. And I'm like, you know what, it works perfect for here. So we're gonna be doing this. So let's get this futon out of here. We got some pillows, we can get those things out of here just like so. We've also got lamps on both sides. We got this stuff over here. Yeah, Legos, baby. I need to get those out of here as well. So I'm gonna remove this. I'm gonna remove the lamps. We're gonna get the Legos out of here and start with a blank wall. So now everything's been completely cleared out. Nothing is here anymore except for my modem. Now that's where it's gotta stay, unfortunately. I do have internet running over to another uh, switch over there, but we're gonna put in a new switch here because this is interesting. So we've got ethernet built into the house, which is great. Uh, not a lot of houses have that, but I don't have anything plugged into it. So we need to plug in ethernet so I can have ethernet in the rest of the house. I've got uh, smart TVs in just about every single room, but I have to use wireless for them. Now, we don't have to do that. So let's get our stands in, let's get our table in, and we'll go from there. So here we go, we're all done, at least for the main part. We've still gotta put everything together, but this is essentially it. You got your two set stands and then desk, perfect. It literally matches the other setups that I've got in here. Same desks, same lamps, same sets, is good. Uh, we've actually moved the smart bulbs from the tall lamps into the smaller lamps, which now ma match the rest of the ones in the room. So that's even better. This is gonna be pretty sweet when we're done with it. We've also got brand new, uh, brand new lights. I got a brand new camera, just a good day. So now what we've got to do is we've got to get stuff in. Of course, our shelves are in, our desk is in, and I've got all the stuff here to set up. So what I need to do, so I'm actually gonna be crawling around a little bit. I need to get this, it's probably plenty. We'll pull that out. Now, we've got this guy, Ow, smash my finger. Uh, this right here is what's gonna hold our three screens, literally the three screens that we just replaced. Don't put them to use. So let's get this in, let's put it about, somewhere-ish, not right there. Need to adjust the arm so it stays. Now I'm gonna have to get down in there and make sure it's all good. Man, there's so much work to do today. <laughs> and screen mounts are on. Now let's get the screens on and then we can start doing the two lights and the camera setup. One down, two to go. One more and we're done. There we go. Is this starting to look familiar yet? Now let's get the lights up. Now I've got three of these. These guys right here. So. It's just a spring-mounted arm with a clamp on the bottom, and it has a webcam mount. Now, these webcam mounts can work for lights, they can work for cameras, all kinds of stuff. This one is gonna be, well, we got three. One camera, two lights. You can probably figure that out. Now, the lights will be mounted in such a way where one of them is gonna be a little bit high, and the other one's gonna be a little bit low. That way we can hit from a couple of different angles. And the camera is gonna be right in the middle. These are way easy to do if you just do the clamps first. Now that the clamps are on, we're gonna go ahead and install the mounting brackets or the arms right here. And we're gonna take these. We're gonna go ahead and put the lights on here. We're gonna put the camera on here. We're gonna see how everything is before we move the desk back against the wall. Now I can say that I am confidently happy about this. We've got our key light. We have our kind of fill light, whatever. And then we have our camera right here. This is the Sony A5100. Now we got two of them. I just spit, that's nasty. I got two of these now instead of just one. I love this camera so much as HDMI out. Uh, it's got a screen pop up so I can see exactly what's going on. Right now we're actually, uh, funny enough, we're recording this entire thing with a GoPro. It's a GoPro Hero 7 Black Edition. Tell me, does it look good? Using a big ring like with it as well. Boom. So next up, we need to start getting a few things at the peripheral. So the microphone, we need to get the headset set up. Uh, we also need to get the computer brought in. We need to get all that put together. Uh, the microphone that we're moving is actually this one right here. The Shure SM7B with complimentary Farm Sim News logo on there. This is the one that is going to be moved over. Um, 
Be honest with you, I'm not a huge fan of this microphone, and Clutch is probably gonna kill me for saying that, but I really, it's just not, not flattering for me. I really like a condenser microphone, it's a dynamic. Nonetheless, we're still gonna be using this, and we need a clamp. So, this is how this guy works. I have to sit it down. There we go. So, they use these desk clamps right here. This is the Rode PSA-1. Uh, this is for broadcast microphones and all kinds of stuff. What we're gonna do is, I am going to just put it right here on the corner of the table, and it is going to boom in. It just, just screw it on there nice and tight. Perfect. Then, bring in our microphone. And perfect. Now I can move it wherever I want and bring it all the way in, sit it right here. And when I'm done, I can just push it out of the way. That's perfect. We're also gonna be using some speakers as well. These are Rockville speakers. They're just generic Rockville. They're like 120 bucks for a pair. Uh, one is powered, one is passive. This is the passive one, so no components here. But it's always nice to have some extra speakers sitting around, and I just happen to have an extra set. So we've got these, we've got some isolation pads. So what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna put one there, and if I can fit in here, which is not looking like I'm able to, but the speaker is, fortunately for us. Man, I'm making a, <laughs> making a mess of this. Roughly, there we go. That's one, let's get the other one. And here it is, this is what the powered one looks like. These are the Rockville APM5. Uh, these have combo ends, so XLR, quarter inch, whatever you need to use there. Also your power, you've got headphone jack, which is really nice, but I never use that. Uh, and we have USB, which is exactly how I'm gonna be hooking these up. And there we go. We've got a speaker here, got a speaker there. This is turning out to be a really cool setup. Next up, we have our preamp or our interface. Now, this is the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 second generation. I've got a couple more sitting around the house, but this sounds best on this microphone. I also have a Shure one, but we use that for videos, which is now way over there. This is all from some news. This is crazy. This is just getting too much, guys. <laughs> so we've got this, and funny enough, totally forgot. This is actually how I'm gonna control my speakers as well because We've got line outs on here. So we're gonna go quarter inch out of the back. I've got quarter inch XLR combo um, microphone signal cables, brain fart. We've got those and this is just powered by USB. Nice and easy. This is gonna be placed on the back corner of my desk, just right back here. Probably won't have to use this too much. So it doesn't have to be kind of out there to be completely honest with you. It can be hidden far, far away from everything that we've got going on because I'm really not gonna need this to control much. Along with the Shure SM7B microphone, uh, we need a preamp. We need something to boost that signal that's coming from our gain on there. What this is, this is a Cloudlifter CL1. What this does, it adds, I think it's like 25 decibels extra or 25 dB of power. So that's gonna be great for us because that thing is gonna sound real noisy. You've always heard the SM7B with this, so you're probably like, well, it sounds good already. Exactly, because I'm using this. Hard to explain. But nonetheless, this goes in between. You plug the microphone in there, and then you plug this end into your interface. Now that we've got that, let's go ahead and plug our speakers in. These, gonna be using these cables right here. So on one end, we have a quarter inch. The other end, XLR. The reason we're using these instead of just a quarter inch cable, uh, well, I can't find my quarter inch cable, so <laughs> I found these at the base, but these are what we're gonna use. Before we go any further, I'm gonna go ahead and install our power. Now, this right here, this is an APC battery backup system. What this is gonna do is it is going to be plugged into not only my router, which I haven't had one on the router before, it's gonna go into all of our screens to power everything literally everything is gonna be plugged into this. Now, we're only gonna get enough power for maybe 30 minutes on everything, with everything plugged in, including the computer. But, in case we have a power outage, this is huge. I already have two. We've already got one on the PC, and I've got one on the Mac as well. This one, just something else to plug in. This is gonna be good for us. You need one of these if you're doing this professionally. So I've taken a little bit of time, and we've got, well, a lot done. What I've done is I've already got everything plugged in. Funny enough, we have these lights on a switch now, so it's not only G-O-O-G-L-E, 
Hopefully it's not listening. Also, we got the LED strip installed on the back, which I already had installed when I built the desk, but I had to get it programmed. So now it listens to me and it is programmed with the rest of the LED strips in the room. They'll all work together, which is really cool. And I wanted to make sure I kept that because we've got them literally on everything. So now we got to get the computer in here. So this guy right here, this is my old system. This is the Ryzen 7 2700X. Um, second generation Ryzen, a uh, AMD processor, and it has the GeForce GTX 1070 in it. Now, I do have a 2070 Super in a box uh, that I'm not using right now. However, I've got that as a backup for my primary system with a 2080 Ti in it. So if anything were to happen with Forum Sim News, honestly, this is still overkill. Way, way overkill, which is, I mean, it's exactly what we do here. Um, but it's way overkill for what we're doing. So the 1070 is going to work perfect for us. Cooling is great on here. We've got it cleaned up a little bit as well. Front still doesn't look the greatest, but what are you going to do? So let's get this in here. A lot of people will say, don't put computers on carpet. Well, guess what? There's about an inch of clearance, if not more, down there. The only thing down there is the uh, power supply. So I think it's going to be okay. Well, we're all done. Let's see. Will it turn on? It's looking like, yeah. Yeah, I think it is. So it's on. It's working. We should be getting some screen signals soon. I hope. I really hope. Uh, also, this is a new mouse and keyboard as well. Okay, popping up over there. Not a horrible. Hey, these screens are kind of dirty, aren't they? Let's see here. Are we going to pop up? This is, I mean, this computer is like a year old, maybe a little bit more at this point. So it should be perfectly fine. It may even recognize everything. Let's see. I think it's working. Let's enter our passcode. I don't remember it. Oh God, no. Uh-oh, it's not typing in. Uh, we might have a problem. No, we're good. We are good. Let's see. We've got a uh, update here to Stream Deck. Speaking of Stream Deck, we got a new one coming in. Uh, it should be here. Actually, by the time you guys see this, I'll already have it. So we've got a 15 switch um, Stream Deck on the main gaming computer. But on this one, I'm going to use the six button switch. So I think it's going to be perfectly fine for us. We'll put it right here. Be boop record, do all that good stuff. So it looks like this is just about good. I'm gonna go ahead and update drivers and get everything ready on this uh, machine right here. We'll be back hopefully in a minute and everything will be ready to go. Well, I'm having a bit of a problem, but I know what the problem is. I have put a um, switcher kind of thing before my router and so nothing is working. So I'm gonna move the router over and then move the switch over there. That should fix all the problems. Uh, but that's the only problem I'm having. Otherwise, everything's up, it's working, it's ready to go, and we're ready for Farm Sim News. So, with that being said, that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video. Get subscribed to the channel if you've not already. Join the GoHam fam. And again, if you guys like stuff like this, let me know. I've always got different projects going on around the house, but most of the time I just want to get it done and not film. So, <laughs> if you guys like it, let me know. But with that being said, I hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.